I like to criticize Obama in front of white women. They never know how to react. They never know. Taking that privilege back. It's mine now. I've watched enough Modern Family. These white women, they were messing with my head just like this fucking woman right here. That shit was crazy, bro. Messing with my head, so I decided to learn something about myself. So I did a 23andMe. And that's right, I spent $200 to find out I was black. <laughs> now 23andMe knows I'm a 35-year-old single African-American male with no kids. And the black community, they think I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm just poor. <laughs> just broke, kids can't afford them. We can abort them, but we cannot afford them. Hey, I live in California. It's a great state, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, I've been knowing about that Plan B since 2019, okay? I'm a big man, and I mess with big women, okay? So that was not news to me. Um, yeah, I've been smoking. I'm broke, man. I've been broke my entire life. And I just realized I've been smoking weed for over half my life now. The two most consistent things in my life is being poor and getting high. Yeah, don't clap for that. And um, <laughs> I've been trying to find ways to enhance weed because I can't afford better drugs. So what I've been doing is I smoke sativa, and then I go to Kroger, and I get high from the savings. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> when I tell you the feelings I got, it was amazing. I got all my groceries. I get up to the register. There's an older man at the register. He's like, hey, can I scan your Kroger card? I said, no, not till the end, OK? I need to see those savings rapid fire. I need that dopamine kick. <laughs> And he's like, okay. <laughs> Scans my groceries, comes out to $96. I'm like, all right, you can scan my Kroger card now. Tell me why I dropped to $56. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that savings you can drop for. This old man, he turned and he looked at me and he said, I never seen savings that big. <laughs> Y'all have been chasing that high ever since, okay? <laughs> but then some things changed. I booked a Super Bowl commercial. Okay, yeah, that's me. I'm in that commercial. That Uber Eats commercial with Diddy, that's me. You're not racist, that's me, don't worry. Um, um, and now, you know, I got a lot of money. It's not a lot of money, but it's the most money I've ever had. So I quit my job, you know? And now I'm like, what am I gonna do with all this money? In my 20s, I would've gotten fucked up. I would've went to Vegas, I would've got drunk, I would've gambled, I would've blown all this money, but now I'm in my 30s. And I'm thinking like, what am I gonna do? I got all this time, I ain't got no kids, I ain't got no job. I never ridden a jet ski. Like, what am I gonna do with this money? <laughs> And then I thought to myself, every time I would think about it, I kept coming back to the same place. And I just wanted to go to the grocery store. I love going to the grocery store. It's all I had. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to Whole Foods. <laughs> More like Whole Super Bowl paycheck. God damn. I thought I was just getting a little lunch. Do not get high and go to the hot bar, OK? So I was just getting a little lunch. I got up to the register, $47. I said, how? So are you allowed to take hot food back? Can I, is, is, there, is there like a line of credit or something I can get? I was talking to this girl, she's like, if you really love deals, you should go to Aldi. Y'all know about Aldi? Oh, yeah. yeah, that shit is like the skid row of grocery stores, bro. <laughs> the fuck? I ain't even got inside. They already asking me for change? I need a quarter to use a cart? It's 2023. I ain't got no change on me. Now I'm walking around Aldi, everything loose in my arms. I mean, the boxes is loose. People fighting over boxes, rummaging through boxes. Ain't no music playing. I'm like, what the fuck is happening in here? Did, is, is this Mad Max? I was like, I can't know. This is, I'm better than this now. I'm, be, I'm sorry. This is for poor families. And this is, I'm, yo, I can't do this. I was telling my sister about it. My sister's like, why don't you just go to Costco? I said, what? Go to Costco? <laughs> you have an entire family, okay? I'm a 35-year-old single bachelor. I can't go to Costco. I can't be high in Costco. Costco is crack, okay? I make a high decision in Kroger. I'll buy a slice of cake for $1.49, all right? I make a high decision at Costco. I got 148 Lord Debbie honey buns, all right? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with all these honey buns? I'm trying to lose weight. People come over to my house. They're like, hey, yeah, I'm like, come on, come in, take your shoes off. You like a glass of water? Maybe a honey bun? You got them? You got them right here on the table. They're ready. I'll be in LA, I'm in Hollywood. It's a late night. I come out from the bar, it's two in the morning. A homeless person comes up to me, unhoused if you're woke, and um, they ask me for some change. They ask me for some cash. And I'm like, listen, I ain't got no cash on me right now. But I do got this honey bun. <laughs> and it's been in my pocket all night long. This bitch is piping hot, OK? No microwave needed. It's gotten so bad, I'm sneaking honey buns into the movie theater. But they all individually wrapped, so they crinkle. So I got to unwrap them and put them in a Ziploc bag. Coming in a Barbie looking big as hell. 
come out looking skinny. They're like, hey, what happened in there? I'm like, listen, I was high in Costco, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all right now, I'm horny. I'm horny, y'all. Um, horny. Yeah. I'm a horny man. And um, <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it, if you do it right. Um, and listen, y'all know I love a deal. Y'all yeah, know I love savings. I'm horny, you know? I'm, so I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to get real intimate with y'all, okay? I thrifted a flashlight, okay? I thrifted a flashlight. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It was not a used flashlight. That's what I was told. And um, if you guys don't know what a flashlight is, it's, it's a sex toy. It's a pocket pussy. You fuck it. Um, and oh my God, my friend, she's a photographer. She shoots for Playboy. She was doing an ad for flashlights. She was like, hey, Leonard, I'm done with this ad. I'm a woman. I can't use these flashlights. Do you want one of these flashlights? I was like, I'll try it out. Why not? Y'all know when you're doing something and it feels good while you're doing it, but afterward you feel worse? <laughs> like you're masturbating as soon as you bust that nut, you just slam the laptop shut. Like, what the fuck am I doing? You, like, look over your shoulder, see if people are watching. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. The flashlight makes masturbating 20 times better, okay? But you feel 50 times worse when it's done. <laughs> Fucking awful the shame that I felt. Terrible. It used to be so easy. I used to be able to just bust a nut, close the laptop, throw the paper towel in the trash. I go to sleep. Now I got to get up. It's dark. I don't want to turn the lights on. I walk into my bathroom. I'm at the sink waiting for the water to get warm, looking in the mirror like, Leonard, who are you? You just fucked the apparatus, my nigga. <laughs> and that shit was cathartic. It wasn't supposed to be like that. It's a goddamn sex toy. Y'all ever have a sex toy that was so good you thought about becoming Christian again? <laughs> Y'all ever nut so hard you like, I need the arms of Jesus wrapped around me right now. I don't even believe in the devil, but this is the devil's work. <laughs> Got me out here fucking with Lucifer's labia. <laughs> Got me out here fucking with that pussy. Beelzebub's pussy. <laughs> and now they got the robotic ones. They rotate and they pump with the VR goggles. Yo, you basically fucking a robot, bro. I'll, don't do it. I don't think I can cross that line because if 10 year old me saw me doing that, he'd be like, nigga, what the fuck? You saw Terminator 2. You know how this ends. And I'm like, listen, little man, we made it past 97. We good. We good. And then I thought to myself, this AI shit is starting to get real. This robot, this robot, it's kind of getting kind of scary. There's going to be a point in time where everybody out there is fucking that dussy, that droid pussy, okay? And they're going to be making fun of an old head like me, like, look, this old nigga over here still fucking that russy, that real pussy. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, the water running, I'm like, russy, dussy, I'm like, what, what the hell? And stop out of it. I'm like, I'm never using this flashlight ever again. So I shake the flashlight dry, I shake it dry, <laughs> take it back into my room. And I put it deep, deep in the back of my closet. I live in a valley in Los Angeles. I got big closets. And as I'm walking back to my bed, I see a red light glowing. And I turn around, and that flashlight was like, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I was so scared. I, I, I instantly got up from my house. I uh, took it out. I brought it over to a friend's house. I was like, hey, I got this flashlight. Um, it wasn't used. My friend, she's a photographer. <laughs> she shoots for Playboy. Um, listen, I didn't get that horny tonight. But normally I get a lot hornier than this. And um, people come up to me after shows asking me questions about sex, and I didn't realize we weren't all having sex the same way. Thought we were all doing the same thing. Turns out we're not. So I'm gonna tell you how I have sex. The three sexual stipulations that I need for me. The three rules, I can do other things, but these are three things that I need, okay? Rule number one, light's gotta be on, all right? I'm visual, plus I gotta see that ass before I eat it, all right? <laughs> I've been burned before. <laughs> been burned before. Damn, I didn't do any ass eating jokes tonight. That's crazy. Um, rule number two. No music, okay? I want as silent as this room right now. And that shocks some people. But that's because of rule number three. There's gotta be a rerun of Modern Family playing in the background. <laughs> but it's become a problem because the only time I can come is when Cam squeals. And if you don't know Modern Family, Cam is a large, boisterous gay man who squeals a lot. And when he does, I come. Thank you so much, guys. I've been Leonard Smith Jr. <laughs> <laughs>